Is owning a printer in 2022 going on into 2023 worth it? Stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be talking about. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. And today I wanted to talk to you about basically the cost analysis of is it worth it when it comes down to the penny to be printing at home or to be using some external printer outside of your home uh, to print. So really you're at home printing versus uh, you printing at a library, you printing at your job, you printing at any other place, uh, mainly somewhere where they would charge you. So maybe at the job uh, would be the only exception where you would be able to balance these costs and really zero them out. Uh, you'd really have to determine that. Does that cost you somewhere else uh, along the line in fees at your job or not? But I'm really excited to get into it and to do an analysis of roughly how much it's going to cost you to print at home versus how much it's going to cost you to print somewhere else. Is it worth printing at home versus printing somewhere else? If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, there are tons of videos about printers, printer repair, printer unboxings, a variety of topical videos relating to printers, tutorials showing you how to do certain things with your printer. And my goal with this channel is overall to help you make the best buying decision when you're purchasing printers, printer ink, and everything revolving around printers. Now, if you find this video to be above and beyond helpful and you really want to show appreciation that is above and beyond, you can actually leave a donation with the new super thanks feature down below. There's a button you can click on. It is a donation button. You can leave anywhere from a dollar all the way up to as much as you would like. And of course, above and beyond, but greatly appreciated. So the sponsor of today's video is also very much related to many of the videos on my channel. And it's a product I talk about a lot and that is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Essentially, over time, over usage, your printer print heads can become clogged. That is either by running your ink too low, not printing for an extended period of time, and the colors don't print out like they used to. There is of course the print head function, the power cleaning function on various different models, but if those don't work, you're gonna wanna use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. This is a product you can use yourself on your printer, so there's going to be a link in the description below for this product. You can also look up specific videos for specific printer models on my YouTube channel. All right, so essentially the way we're going to be determining the cost is I'm gonna take a very inexpensive printer, an HP Envy model, and then we're going to actually compare it to a 10 to 15 cent cost at a library. That is the average cost of what it costs to print one page black and white is 10 cents and one page color is going to be 15 cents. And we're gonna do an average number of prints that you would do. We're gonna do a low number, mid number, and high number so that you're able to see kind of the variation and, and you probably will fit in between or somewhere close to one of those numbers. The way I'm gonna calculate the cost of at home printing is I'm gonna take the cost of the printer the cost of the ink and then I'm going to divvy that up and we're gonna take an annual look at the cost because you have the cost of the printer it wouldn't be fair to say all in one month that you had that cost and that is maybe a hundred two hundred dollars all in one month you can't compare that to a 10 to 15 cent cost so we're gonna spread that out over at least one year and really it should be over two to three years during the duration of the printer because that cost will spread out over the years that the printer ends up lasting you so since we already know the cost at the library what it would cost roughly and that's going to go across the board. We're going to average that for any outside printing outside of the home, 10, 15. What we're going to do is we're going to take this less expensive HP Envy Pro 6458. This printer is running for about $110 and it is very versatile. You are even able to print photos, which is something you usually cannot do at a library or somewhere else. The cost is gonna go up dramatically. So we're gonna sideline that item of photo printing as a benefit that you can't really calculate, put a price on just yet. Now we're going to take the price of the color ink and we are actually gonna use the OEM price because that's what most people are gonna be comfortable with. That's $17 for the color ink. And then we are going to get a quote for the black ink. This is very inexpensive, and then we want to charge tax on all this, of course. All right, so we have our number with tax for this printer, how much it's going to cost you for the year. And so you can do this same cost analysis with any printer. All you would do is you would take the printer, you would take the cost of the printer, you would take the cost of... Uh, both black and color if they're just one set then you just do that if you're doing if you're gonna be buying remanufactured ink only use that price don't use the OEM price and what you can do is you can come up with a number in this case it's $153 
So $153, we're gonna divide that by the 12 months of the year. Now, are you going to print more than that? So your page yield we see here for the black ink is 120 pages. And for the color ink, we're going to get a 100 page yield. So we're gonna get a little bit less. And so you can increase this, you can increase the the number of pages that you're able to print. And so all you would do is this is this is a very easy analysis because what you would do at this point is whether you do 120 for the black and 100 for color or you do double that, all you would have to do is double the price and you're going to get roughly what it's going to be. The library uses the paper cut system to manage all library public printers. Public printing costs 10 cents per black page. So you have two very different numbers when it comes to printing at the library. So for the year, just to print 120 black and white prints, which means just black ink is being printed on white paper essentially, you're going to be paying about $12 for 120 sheets of uh, that type of color. For 100 sheets of color paper, you're gonna be paying $30 for the year. So in total, you're gonna be paying $42 for those two types of printing, essentially what you would have at home. So the difference here annually is per month, you're gonna be paying $3.50 at the library and $12.75 at home. But of course, you have the convenience of having that printer having that machine. That is the majority of the cost. If you simply did the cost of the ink, it would be much, much lower. It would be probably about the same. So with tax, the ink itself is gonna cost you less if you printed entire page yield from those two ink cartridges. It's gonna cost you $2.94. So it's gonna cost you less than it would at the library. So you see there that the cost analysis is roughly the same with the ink, but the number is boosted because of the printer. With a printer at the library, you're not able to necessarily, you can scan, that's true, but you don't have the convenience of scanning at home. You always have to go out, make trips to the library. So there's a time, and there's even if you wanna put in there a cost to the gas of having to get to the library or if you take the bus, that's gonna add a cost as well. You're able to fax from your at-home machine. You're able to print photos, which is one thing that you really cannot do at a library. You might be able to do it, but it'll cost you probably a dollar or more, so you would just place that into the cost. And of course, at the end of the day, there's the convenience of having your printer at home, being able to do a wide variety of things. You can print directly from your phone. Uh, you can use the HP Instant Ink, which can save you a little bit more money on ink, depending on how much you print. But it's really good to know roughly the numbers because you can always do a rough calculation of how much it's costing you to print at home versus having to go out somewhere. And I do believe that most people are wanting the convenience of printing at home. But doing this cost analysis, you can see, just with the ink alone, your costs are lower than if you would have to go to the library or somewhere else to print. All right, so you have the rough numbers, you have how I got to those numbers, so you can actually do this yourself with any printer, any ink, any other variable that you want to throw in there. Uh, you kind of have the outline of how to do that calculation. And of course, it's not always necessarily what's cheaper, but you have to look at both sides of uh, what are you getting on this side versus the other side? Is it more convenient? Do you value convenience over the cost? Because at the end of the day, there is a price tag to convenience. And so all of these things combined will help you make a better decision when it comes to your printing needs. All right, so I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.